The legal profession was a man's world. When Kay McFarland entered Washburn Law School as the only woman attending classes there full-time in 1961, but McFarland blazed a trail for fellow females to follow, becoming the first woman member of the Kansas Supreme Court and its first and only female Chief Justice. This is Tim Rencher, the History Guy for CJ Online, talking about Kay McFarland, who was born in 1935 in Coffeyville, the daughter of Kenneth and Clara McFarland. Kay McFarland, shown in this painting of her created when she was a girl, moved to Topeka with her family when her father became superintendent of Topeka Unified School District 501. Kay McFarland is shown here with her father during his later years. Kenneth McFarland was also a motivational speaker for Reader's Digest and General Motors. After graduating in 1957 from Washburn University with dual majors in English and History and Political Science, Kay McFarland spent the next four years showing Tennessee walking horses on a circuit from Florida to Texas. She then earned a degree from Washburn Law School and entered the private practice of law in 1964. McFarland defeated an incumbent to win election in 1970 and become the first female judge of the probate and juvenile courts for Shawnee County. She then became the first woman elected as a Shawnee County District Court judge in 1972. McFarland was appointed in 1977 to the Kansas Supreme Court, where she became Chief Justice in 1995. She held that position until retiring in 2009. McFarland's tenure of more than 31 years on the High Court is its fourth longest on record. McFarland also was an animal lover and an expert seamstress and quilter who was known for her sense of humor. She traveled the world, including going on three African safaris with former Topeka Zoo director Gary Clark. Before she died at age 80 in 2015, McFarland provided a legacy gift to the Topeka Zoo to establish and maintain a world-class Asian garden. More than 160 people attended dedication ceremonies for that garden, held in 2016 on what would have been her 81st birthday. Plans for the garden are shown here. Its groundbreaking ceremonies will be held at 10 a.m. Friday at the zoo in Gage Park. This is Tim Rencher, the History Guy for CJ Online.